And welcome back to this first person tutorial series on the creation of different first person shooter aspects such as ammo, health, HUDs, mini maps, saving, loading, level transitions, dying, respawning, all the fun stuff. In the previous tutorial video, we actually created the pause menu here. We went ahead and we did that. Okay. In this video, we're going to cover how to do the level transitions. Now, in the break, I went ahead and made up a couple of different levels. You just have them here, Tut FPS 1, 2, and 3. Nothing major, nothing fancy. Pretty much the same level, same as this level here with slight variations, just to show that they are actually different levels that we are loading into. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. Well, I took and for the first thing, you'll see here that I've imported a new texture block into my save program folder. It's called Open Level. I'm going to use the save checkpoint blueprint that I already have because we have no reason to really use the save side of that. So we're going to use the save side as the Open Level side. So everything's already pretty much done for us but we do need to add a few things. So, first thing we need to add in here is we need to go into the... where is it at? Alright, it's under Blueprints. Okay. Uh, we need to go to Blueprints and we need to select Enumeration. Now this is going to be a list. In this case, a level list. It's going to be a list of all of our levels. Whenever the level design team would come in to create the level, this list here is where they would put all of their levels that are for their level. So we're going to make four. Now, yes, I said I have three levels, but we're going to make four, and I'll show you why. I like to have a base one just to have for a blank so that you kind of know when it's selected within the the game world or whatever, when you're doing the editor, you can see, hey, choose a level, and then it says, okay, well, I need to choose a level. I can't just leave it like this. So, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to input all of these names. So, Tut FPS 001, 002, and 003. Now, I would like to do this in a descending order, so I'm going to start with Tut F FPS 003, and then just kind of from there, tut FPS 002, and tut FPS 001. So now we have our first level, our second level, our third level, and the need to choose a level. So we can save, and that's all we're going to do in that. Now, in our save and checkpoint thing, we need to create a new variable. We're going to call this uh, level selection. We're going to make it editable so that when we drop this into the world, we can actually choose what level we want. We want to change the variable type to an enumeration. But if we type in the search bar up here, we just type in level, you'll see down here under enum that we actually get our level list enumerator that we had just made. So go ahead and select that. Now you'll see here where we say level selection says choose level. We're just going to ignore that for right now because that means absolutely nothing. Whenever we transition from one level to the next, we do want to save the information we currently have so we know what to load the next information with. But a few things we don't need is like we don't need this checkpoint because that's going to be completely irrelevant to what we're actually creating. So we can just strip that on out of there. What we do, however, need is the open level node. Now this function here, you can tell it's a function because there's that nice little F there is going to open up a level for us. Now you could just type in the name here and go over and over and over and you have to change it for each thing. But considering this is a blueprint and we're wanting to use this in multiple levels, we don't actually want to do that. So we're going to pull out the level selection we're going to get. Now you could just take, drag this up here, convert it, and then use it like that. That will not work. Okay, That is not going to work. So what you need to do is you need to drag it out and you need to type in string. Now you don't want to string via a byte, you want an enum to string. 
and then when you mouse over it says return user friendly name of enumerator. If you left it as a byte, it'd just be one, two, three, four, and our level is not actually labeled one, two, three, four within the actual save folder. And then you can just connect that to the name and it'll change the string to a name and you will be all good. Make sure you get those two nodes in that level select node. All right, so we open, we save that. All right, now we are done in that, as long as we don't have any issues with it. So now we're going to go over here to the far side of our world, of our level, and we're going to place right here, let's place, uh, let's just go ahead and for right now just place the box, the trigger box for it. All right. We want something, though, to signify that we have it, or that we can use that. So let's do, let's do this, let's move this over here against that. Oops. Not against that right there. And then we're going to take this nice big old block and just drag it over in there. Alright, so this passageway right here, that's going to be the entrance into our level. Let me just drag this for some. Alright, and we still have the ability to resize it, so let's go ahead and resize it up some. That We don't need it that wide, but we'll just leave it alone. Now you notice here we have this level selection. So if we go ahead and we choose TUT, F, tut FPS002 is our level. Alright, now if we play we're still up here. We can slide on down here. We can run on through. Let's hit a couple of this real quick. Hit the checkpoint. Went around the corner right here. Walk down our narrow little hallway. We hit it. It pauses for a little while. And now we're in level two. And as you can see here, level two has nice little stairs. It goes up. And then we can walk up into the other area. And I have changed the checkpoint location on this, so we'll actually show that. If I was to kill myself right now, I'd go back to the start of level two. Alright. And then we come up here. We go all the way up here. This is a long one without a sprint feature. Pass to the checkpoint. I hit F again. I die. And I spawn right here because this is where my checkpoint is. And then you would just put an open level node up here, wherever you wanted it up here, transition it to level 3. So like, well I don't have level 2 open, so let's go ahead and open level 2 real quick. Oops, go ahead and save selected. Won't take but a moment to open it, so. Alright, so here's our level 2 world. Alright, let's go ahead and go up here. Man. Let's put it over here this time. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to drag and drop this in. We're going to raise it up there. We're going to drag this, holding the Alt key. Drag and copy, drag a copy of it over. Alright, now this time we're going to choose our level selection. We're going to choose level 3. All right, so we should be able to go from level one to level two into level three. So let's go back to level one so that we can test the full series, make sure we got it all right. All right, so we start here on level one, we go through, we fire off some things. All right, so now we have 13 ammo, 68 max. Let's cross over, see if anybody notices anything. Alright, notice the current ammo and the max ammo reset back to default. I will show you how to fix that in the next video after this one. Firing off and firing off and firing off. Go down this hallway, hit our trigger point. We cross over, now we're in world th level 3, which is the same as level 2, but we're just outside of the fort, or outside of the level, basically, instead of inside of the level, and even to test the respawn feature of jumping off, 
we die, one, two, we respawn back where we were. So that's all we're going to do for the op for the transitioning of levels, because all we want to do is just open the new levels. In the next video, we're going to show how to transition from one level to the next while still maintaining the health and ammo and whatever other value values that we may want to maintain from level to level. All right, so stay tuned.